Sertun Morier on the East Square was away. Pretty good. I mean, it looked like uh, we're not too much speed, and uh, we're probably going to be close. And she broke really well out of there, but it looked like uh, the one horse, my, the one horse, and uh, and then Fabian kept following a little bit. So I just uh, trying to just follow them, you know, for a little bit, and uh, just trying to make her happy, whatever she was supposed to. She did, and uh, when we took them for home, we took them out, and then, you know, she she got to the, to the, the stride that she had, and then yeah, she got the jump down. Exciting for a three-horse race. Uh, I mean, quality group of mares there that just laid it down. She uh, she was very impressive. Uh, I was very happy with Joel getting her away from the gate so well and putting her in a position to give herself a chance to win. And when he tipped her out, turning for home, you could tell she, she was full of run and um, it was nice to get the job done. You know, sometimes three-horse races, the tactics can make it difficult. Well, and that's exactly what I told Joel in the paddock. I said, "There's listen, I said, you're going to have to ride it how it sets up, but, you know, if, if we can be closer, we got a chance. And, and he did a great job. Um, she was full of run and just so, so impressive to have a horse like her, Clary Air, still in training and seeing them perform at the level that they're performing. Yeah, I mean, this three-horse field again, but two grade one winners in a grade one place horse in there. Yeah, I mean, we had no control over all the scratches. We just had to bring bring over um, our, mare, our mare in good shape, and uh, she's very healthy, and just great performance today. Uh, just your thoughts about her win, you know, well, she's a great one winner again. She doesn't have to apologize for anything, but her last two races, what about her last two races, when she didn't bring her A game? Yeah, I don't know. There's that, the, the race on Churchill Day, we just kind of drew a line through it. I mean, she was training, training so well. Um, she, she still likes to train she's she's very forward and um impressive working so it's just one of those that you kind of got to throw out and um, it, she, ran, she ran a phenomenal race in the houston oaks and return you know same effort today and you're keeping her away from clarier both of by stem through that soon until like the breeders cup do you have any idea what might be well, yeah, I, we'll just get with Steve and Barbara and find out what, what's next. Um, Clary, you know, Clary Air is the best mare in the country right now. I don't think there's any question about that. And, you know, we'll just continue to find good spots for them. There's plenty of races. 